Well, with the weekend fast approaching, it's time to make some plans, and it definitely should include some wine. <laughs> Always. But instead of picking up a bottle, would you think about reaching for maybe a box of wine? Early show contributor Taryn Winterbrill is here with more on this. I've always enjoyed box wine. I'm not ashamed you're, to say you're, it. You're going to have to sell me. <laughs> box wine is back, guys. Good morning to you both. Well, historically, the stigma associated with box wine has always been quantity over quality. It's the wine you drank in college, right? Well, now sales of boxed wine are higher than ever. So the question is, can you really tell the difference between boxed wine and bottled wine? Let's face it, Americans love their wine. In fact, more vino is consumed here than anywhere else in the world, making it a $30 billion a year business. And in this economy, winemakers are looking to give customers more bang for their buck. Right now, I think is like the best time for box wine. While keeping the integrity of their brand. More and more producers are actually trusting boxes. So they're trusting the fact that their wines will last and they will be delicious in a box. As more and better producers trust the box, then consumers will trust the box. Four years ago, sales of boxed wine spiked by 50%. And from 2009 to 2010, they increased 20 percent, while overall sales of table wine rose just three and a half percent. I think the stigma among wine drinkers is getting better, and I think the stigma among wine experts is basically gone. Kristen Donnelly, a senior editor for Food and Wine magazine, says economics are contributing to the rise in sales. Box wine is cheaper basically because you don't have to pay for the glass bottle. You don't have the cork, um, and also the shipping is a lot cheaper, and that also makes it a little more eco-friendly. The box also boasts a longer shelf life than the average bottle. The enemy of wine is air. Vacuum-sealed bags extend a box wine's freshness by more than a month, compared to just a few days for a bottle. What's your preference, red or white? Red. We wondered how people felt about this boxed wine yeah. renaissance, so we <laughs> conducted an unscientific taste test. To about a $7, $7 bottle, bottle right? Of wine. To see if they could tell the difference between the box I love wine. <laughs> and the bottle. I actually prefer wine number three. Okay. While some were able to separate the two by taste. You prefer the most expensive wine. $25 okay. bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got expensive taste. I have expensive taste. Others were fooled by the price. It's a shocking to see the difference in the price for the taste as well. Yeah. But no, so it's good value for money then. Good value. Yeah. So in the future, would you would you be okay getting be this okay at a party? Let's say. That. Yeah, I'd be all right drinking that. I'll flip over which you thought was most expensive. Okay. Wine one. This is actually boxed wine. Oh. Averaging at about five dollars a bottle. It's the least expensive of the three. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Are you shocked? I am. I am. But at least one amateur wine connoisseur. Ooh. Don't like that one. Was fooled completely. I like this one the best. Ah, oh, that's the box. Really? Yeah. Not once, but twice. I'm gonna go with this one. That's the box. This Got is it. Yeah. this is the box. Yeah. So I'm two for two. Yeah. I like that's the box wine on the red and the white. Go figure. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> once again, <laughs> cheap date. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Some things right. never change. My name is Taryn and I like box wine. <laughs> Proud of it. The manager at the wine shop we visited, he says over the past year he's seen a dramatic increase in the number of inquiries and the demand. Listen to this. At this time last year he was selling about one box of wine a week. Now he's selling 18 boxes mm, a week. So must be good. Yeah, exactly. And they Very stack popular. so much better in your closet. <laughs> that too, exactly. Right. Okay, guys, we have a taste test. Taste test. I've brought back a granacha from Spain. It's a okay. red, velvety, smooth wine. Mm -hmm. One is boxed, one is most expensive, and one is middle of the Road. Okay. So I think I know which each, one it is. Savor it. Record it in your mind. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hope you're thirsty. <laughs> okay. Betty is double. Oh, I'm getting used to it. I am. I'm triple fisting it. Yeah. I need another hand. <laughs> I, I say box is two. Box. Yeah, I say I box is one. Okay. <clears throat> I thought one was actually pretty decent. Okay. It's not the Believe it or not, number one, the most expensive. Yeah. Most expensive, forty-five dollars. Really? Boxed was yeah. three. Oh, well, That's right. about five dollars a bottle when you break down the box. That's I good. thought there was a the, two and three are somewhat similar, even I think. But right. one was. Hey, at least I picked good. the most expensive. What was? Yeah, what, you what, 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 I was wrong. To try that wine this weekend. It's Grenache. It's from Spain. It's a red, velvety, smooth, elegant. And balanced. Ted, just like you, you Jeff. Just like you. Oh, 